Bitcoin just keeps crashing. But why is this happening? Well, largely this is an expected move, especially on the macro front, when we're looking at Bitcoin on the higher timeframes. Of course, we are now in September and the wildly touted Rectember is upon us. Is this really going to come to fruition? And are we going to see a continued crash for the price of Bitcoin? Let's walk through it all in today's update. First of all, I want to bring us over here to Bitcoin's weekly chart paired up with USDT and Binance is, of course, the data source. This is exactly the chart that we have been monitoring for our members down in Discord, of course, linked in the description down below. Our Discord is completely free to join. But this macro view that we have been looking at for Bitcoin, that yes, we are still very bullish on the macro timeframes for Bitcoin, but things have to happen to remain bullish. And these things are liquidations, pullbacks within the market. And as we can see on the screen right here, we can see that Bitcoin has been bouncing around inside of this expanding channel, setting lower highs and setting lower lows. The bullish potential here for Bitcoin was to break these higher highs, and that would be breaking higher than the yellow trend line around about $69,000, $70,000. But what we can crucially see here is that Bitcoin didn't break that level. And we found resistance here within a typical retracement area for Bitcoin of $60,100. $70,300. So are we likely now to come back down and test this lower trend line, setting a new lower low for Bitcoin? Well, this is quite possibly going to happen. What we do have channeled out here is the typical retracement area for a wave four using Elliott Wave Theory. I know Elliott Wave Theory can be complex and tricky to understand, so I'm going to try and keep it nice and simple. The typical retracement area on a macro level for Bitcoin was this white area. $48,722 to $42,861. Now internally we do have this blue box, $45,400 to $41,700. This is very much still a potential structure here for Bitcoin to come down in a bigger corrective movement with the wildly uh, speculated rectember upon us. Can we still see Bitcoin pull back? What would that be? 20%, perhaps as low as 26% from the current price well it is a possibility it doesn't have to happen of course should we lose the current low that we have for bitcoin at forty nine thousand dollars then yes we will be looking at retesting that lower low trend line down towards forty five and a half thousand dollars and forty one but equally we could argue that yes we're still bullish and that all we're getting right now is a typical retracement to the downside and we came into that area the 0 0.5 Fibonacci down towards the 0 0.882 Fibonacci level. It very much is a possibility. Yes, we could still be incredibly bullish on Bitcoin and we could still be expecting a new all-time high before an even bigger collapse in the market. Right now, it's very volatile and I know a lot of our community and a lot of you guys watching are feeling the volatility. Times are difficult in the markets, but that's where we're here. We want to try and navigate this as best as we can. So the possibilities today, we will look at them on the lower timeframes. What we can first of all look at here is the drop that we have seen from the 29th of July with Bitcoin having a high of $70,079. We of course experienced a dramatic drop to the downside on the 5th of August, Bitcoin dropping down to $49,000. From there of course we've had a fantastic run to the upside, Bitcoin pushing as high as $60,000 exactly. Now there's a trend here and this trend is always on that Binance chart. What we can first of all acknowledge is the low back here on the 5th of August hit an exact number of $49,000. We then push up on the 25th of August, Bitcoin hitting a high of $65,000. Exactly. Bitcoin on Binance loves a round number and rejection from those numbers. We can see the trend emerging here. This happens over time. I encourage you guys to go back and check this out. But what we have done here on this push to the upside is first of all, come up into an area where we had previous resistance turned into support, turned into resistance once again testing it here on the 25th of August, we got resistance on that level at $65,000. But perhaps more crucially here, when we draw that Fibonacci on from the high on the 29th of July to the low on the 5th of August, and we bring it over to that price action, we can see resistance was found on the 0 0.786 Fibonacci level. Now, as many traders know, that 786 is a very interesting Fibonacci level to get rejection upon. This is a trader's favorite, and we got resistance there dropping down in quite a dramatic fashion, but that drop to the downside has came down into a very interesting area. What we can now acknowledge is a five-wave structure to the downside for Bitcoin has now came down into its target. 
between $57,100 and $55,900. Yes, we have wicked lower than. But overall, we have came down here into a very interesting area. The interesting part here is this drop that we did get overnight down to the low of $55,606. Well, we've previously had that low over here when Bitcoin dropped down to $56,078 back on the 15th of August. What this is, in my opinion, is liquidity being extracted from the market. That is all that's happening right now with uncertain times, of course. They build up towards the Fed pivot. We're going to have uncertain times in this market. This drop to the downside, stopping out a lot of long positions that were opened up here for that run to the upside. So my expectation here is perhaps we bounce about here for a couple of days. Perhaps we do drop down a little bit lower. Perhaps there's still some longs that are opened up back here on the 7th and 8th of August. But the expectation is to find a bit of consolidation at this point, liquidate those positions, then we look for that relief rally. And the relief rally currently is towards $60,119 and $63,813. We need relief rallies in this market. That's how liquidity is created. But unfortunately, in my opinion, all we're going to see from this is an A, B and C, a corrective relief rally. And like we've covered many times before, when we see these five wave drops to the downside, we expect relief rallies followed by another drop to the downside and it's no secret here guys that next drop to the downside will be another five wave movement but this doesn't come to any surprise to any of our fantastic members we've been monitoring this retracement within itself on the daily time frame here between fifty six thousand four hundred dollars and fifty thousand six hundred and forty four slightly higher than the possible there on the weekly time frame we have to first of all see the structures emerge here yes this structure within itself would be a bigger corrective structure we would obviously look for that impulsive 1.618 if and when it does happen. We can start to map out those movements when they start to appear. So yes, we are dropping down in the market. Blood is on the streets. But sooner or later, we're going to see that reversal. And that reversal currently looking towards $60,000 and $63,000 Bitcoin. Then lastly, we're going to bring us down on to the early time frame for Bitcoin. Once again, paired up with USDT. Um, a very blank chart that we do have in front of us here. I want to keep this analysis as simple as possible. The previous target that I think Nick was looking at on these um, YouTube videos for Bitcoin was $57,500 to $56,700. We, of course, had that bit of a relief rally on this time frame from the 2nd of September up here to the 3rd, 4.69%. But what happened at this point? Well, the markets were closed in the US. So perhaps... A bit of liquidity was created here with the markets being closed we have of course seen a fantastic rally to the upside the markets open absolutely no surprise we have seen a drop to the downside and overnight we have seen that drop to the downside continue once again can that drop continue i do think there is a possibility that we're likely to see bitcoin drop down once again before we target that one out what we can first of all take a look at here is the bullish part that bitcoin was trying to do here we can see we had resistance we had resistance we broke through the resistance here um, on the 9 p.m. candle uh, on Monday, pushing up, fantastic move to the upside, but that always comes back down. And as we can see, we bounce here on a 2 p.m. candle on Tuesday. Many would have seen this as the bounce point. This was the retest for Bitcoin, and we were likely to see that price go up once again. But unfortunately, what's happened here is Bitcoin lost that area. We have bounced back to the upside, tried to break it, and rejection has happened. And a heavy drop to the downside has occurred once again. And yes, we can equally say that this is happening on the lower time frames also here. We have found support, found support, found support many times. And as we can see that candle closing above that trend line, yes, many would see this as an opportunity to enter that long position for the relief rally. But we know we're looking at this through a structure and that structure tells us there may still be more to come. We can take a quick look at this movement and decide that yes, this may just be a corrective structure to start us off here, but we have to measure out these movements with the Fibonacci's taking that first 100% move to the downside. When we bring it over to that swing high, we can see that all-important 1.618 Fibonacci level was hit here at $57,600. So the potential here is for this to actually be that bigger five-wave move to the downside. And I do think that move is entirely possible. But I also don't think that move in itself is complete. And the potential here is for Bitcoin to drop down once again. The push to the upside that we have so far currently seen would tell us that there is still a bearish target potential down here for Bitcoin towards $55,313, $54,852. This very much is still a potential internal structure that we could still play out here for Bitcoin's price action. Um, a lot of nested moves here, guys. Yes, it can be complex, but join us down on Discord and we can explain these all so much easier to each and every one of you. 
but the bearish potential here is to see a continued drop to the downside, perhaps grabbing some more liquidity before this market looks for that run to the upside. The only way we break this, in my opinion, is first of all by breaking higher than $57,415 and a structural reversal, in my opinion, here comes at $58,247. Should Bitcoin have a little push to the upside now and break these levels, in my opinion, that would confirm that this has been the structural endpoint and we are indeed looking for a greater relief rally to the upside. When we do bring on the stochastic momentum, we can see across most time frames now, Bitcoin has reset. The one hour, the four hour, the daily and the weekly are now all oversold. And like we mentioned earlier in the video, the liquidity is being extracted from this market. With stochastic momentum resetting across most time frames, yes, we are looking for a relief rally in the market. We've seen that on the weekly time frame. We've seen that on the daily time frame. We can also see this here on the hourly time frame. Liquidity has been extracted. This price coming down is healthy for the market, although some people do not see it. My expectation here is for that market to pull on down a little bit more. Then we have that relief rally to the upside. When we look at the RSI, we can start to see that the RSI in itself is starting to clip itself round. Yes, we are very much oversold on the RSI. We want to see it cross higher than its average line. Let's expand this on the screen. Yes, we have bearish potential inside of here, but with the RSI so heavily oversold at 26%, when, in my opinion, we see this cross this average line, which is currently sitting around about that 32%, those crosses are very bullish. And when we see the RSI start to pump itself to the upside, of course, price action in itself will equally be looking for that pump to the upside. So in my opinion, yes, we're not far away from it. I do still see that there's potentials here for the lower time frames to have that small extraction of liquidity before the run to the upside. Smart money concept here, is looking at a strong low on the charts. I feel like that's a target for many market makers to wipe out the strong low. Some people might be going long on the charts here, looking at Bitcoin to go to the moon and their stop losses will be set just below that level. I think that is a possibility that market makers will want to grab that liquidity before Bitcoin runs to the upside. So I covered off a lot in today's update for Bitcoin. I do think this market is incredibly volatile right now. We've managed to navigate it fantastically well and I hope you guys have managed to navigate it also. Come and join us in our Discord, carry on the conversation, give us your thoughts, your opinions on everything that is going on with Bitcoin and what your true targets for it may be. I do hope you've enjoyed today's update, guys. Carry on checking out the fantastic content this channel has been putting out so long now by checking out this video right here.